Windows Video 1. Once we have placed our plumbing, appliances, and cabinets in our house, we will move forward by placing windows throughout the exterior of the home. Now we wait until this moment to place windows in our home because our windows are going to uh, be placed around things like your kitchen cabinets um, and your bathroom fixtures uh, mainly above the toilet or a shower um, so we wanted to have those in place first before we placed uh, the windows in. Um, on your plan provided for you in the classroom uh, you'll see that you have a series of windows around the exterior of the home and I will show you how to place those sizes of windows uh, in Revit. So let's start with the front door. Um, you'll see that we have a three foot by four foot window noted and every exterior window has a dimension associated with the window. So you'll see in this example uh, we have the, our door on the same wall as this window and the spacing between the center of the two items is four feet six inches. So we will locate the architecture tab and click on window and you'll see that the template file has given you a series of casement windows and double hung with trim windows and also fixed with trim. Most of these windows um, are going to be double hung windows which means that the window will open from the bottom up whereas a casement window would probably open like a door um, from one side to the other and a fixed window would not open at all. So we're going to stick with double hung for most of the windows, I believe, if not all of the windows. I'll have to check as we go. Um, so we'll start with the first window. It's three foot by four foot. So that's going to be 36 inches by 48 inches. So the, the first number is the width of the window and the second number is the height. So we will select the 36 by 48. And before we place the window, we must always make sure that the head height is accurate. Uh, the head height is where the window hangs from, and then the vertical dimension is from that height down. So our sill height is 3 feet, because 7 feet minus 4 feet would be 3 feet. So we always want to start with, the, with a uniform head height across the uh, structure. Um, that's usually how it's done. Sometimes you'll see a home that has a few different head heights, but mainly they're uniform with the top of uh, the doors. So our door's seven foot tall, so therefore our head height will be seven feet tall. All right, so we're going to place the window down. The only thing you need to make sure you're aware of is we need these temporary dimensions to be on the inside of the house. Um, if they're on the outside, that means you're hanging your window backwards uh, where the lock will be on the outside of the home and we want the lock on the inside. So make sure that you hover your mouse um, appropriately so that the uh, dimensions are on the inside. All right, and as we've done before, we will click down uh, just somewhere close on the wall and then we will change the dimension after. And we said before that the dimension was four feet five inches apart. Excuse me, four feet six inches apart. So what is selected is what will move. So we will click on the window and we want this window to move because our witness line is attached to the center of the door and we will change the number to four foot six. All right, it's, it's as simple as that. Um, we can, I'll show you a couple more different sizes. Everything here is three foot by four foot, just like the uh, front porch. We have a 
two foot by six foot window on either side of what would be a focal point for a TV in the living room. So we're going to go ahead and place two windows here that are two feet by six feet. So that's a little bit of a taller window and it's possible that we'll have to create that one ourselves. Let's see what we have. Nope, we have the right size here. If we did not, it would be just like the door or a cabinet. We would edit type and we would duplicate and then change the name and the size. But for right now, we are okay with this size here. Uh, dimensions on the inside, we can click two windows down and then we will adjust the dimensions. So what we select is what will move. And I need to make sure that my witness line is on the core face as the dimensions are noted. And the space should be six foot eight and a half. So six foot eight point five. And there it is. And then my next window is seven foot two away from the center. Seven foot two. All right. And let's see, I'll let you place these three windows in the correct position. We'll have two windows on the, f or three windows on the front, evenly spaced. And then we'll have one window over the toilet. Now this note cannot be correct because we would not have a, we would not have room for a six foot window. Um, it would be below the toilet, uh, the, the top of the toilet. So this dimension is inaccurate. So we will select a window that will not show and I'll show you how to verify this. Um, let's go with 24 inches by 36. We'll start there verify that my head height is seven so that's not correct seven feet dimensions on the inside and then we can click and move this dimension down to the core and it's at ten foot nine the other way to make sure that this window is centered over the toilet, if you didn't have dimensions already, if you were actually designing something uh, from scratch, um, you would just use the align tool. So align from the center of the toilet to the center of the window. And that actually moved it just a little bit. Okay, and now let's verify uh, with a section view that this window is not below the top of the toilet. Um, we can pick this section and move it down and place it on the center and then right click go to view and my toilet line is here and the window height is there so if you would like to change the window you can do it here um, we could make it a 48 inch window but now notice that the head height was what changed not the sill height so we'll change the head height back to seven and apply and there is that. So that's a personal preference. I will let you decide what size window you place here. Um, keep the two foot width and then change the height to what you would like to use. Um, these are standard window sizes. Um, if you wanted to create a window that was 24 by 42, um, you could do that. That's a standard size of a window. Um, so that'll be up to you. You get design freedom for that one. All right, we'll go back to our first floor view. And once you've placed all of the windows around the exterior of the home, um, you will submit the windows as specified on Canvas. And then we will move on to the next part of the design, which is our finishes.